In this video, we are going to um, try to create an equation based on some information. So we're going to draw these rough sketches, um, create some sort of a visual to help us to figure out our equations. So um, whatever our graph is going to be, it says that we have vertices at 0, negative 8 and 0, positive 8. Now right away, this actually tells you a little bit about your, your center because the vertices are on the major axis. So we are about to have a vertical ellipse because of your major axis. And um, the distance, your center is going to be actually right in the middle here. So right in the middle between these two coordinates is at 0, 0, which is good. That distance is 8, which is your B value. Your B value is your up and down value. So that's going to be B. So if we're looking at this, we have already our center is at 0, 0, so we don't have to add or subtract anything on here. Um, and the B value is 8, so that means that if B is 8, B squared is 64. So we have our value under our Y's. What we need is the value under your X's. And it says the length of the minor axis is 10. So the length of the minor axis is 10 in total. So in each direction, you're going to go 5. Well, that's where your other coordinates are. And that is your A value. So if A equals 5, then A squared is going to equal 25. All right, so that is our first equation. Okay, so just a rough sketch, kind of figuring out what's going on with it. You know, we don't really need to finish that, but um, that is the equation for that. All right, so on the next one, uh, we get a little bit different information. I'm still going to draw a graph. Vertices are going to, again, tell me you might have a vertical ellipse or a horizontal ellipse. So if I start to kind of rough sketch this a little bit, we have vertices at negative 7, and positive 7, 0. So that's telling me we have a horizontal ellipse. And it also just told me that my center is at 0, 0 again. That's great. So we're looking at this look. Um, my A value is always my uh, left and right shift. So that total distance is 7 in either direction. So if a equals 7, a squared is going to be 49. Um, so that's 49. All right, the focal points are 3. So that is a c value. So if your c value is 3, how do we utilize this? So if c is 3. That means c squared is 9. That means that the difference between these two denominators should be 9. So either you go 40 or 58. Well, it depends on the direction. So since this is a horizontal ellipse, this value has got to be bigger than this value. So I don't want it to be 58. That means this has got to be 40. Now the math behind it is, is that your c squared is, since this is going to be bigger, has to be a squared minus b squared. And so we know that this value is 9, we know this value is 49 minus b squared. You can basically just solve for b squared. So if you subtract 49, you're looking at um, negative 40 equaling negative b squared, and then just divide the negative 1. So that gets you b squared equaling 40. All right, and then I would switch that. I would have b squared minus a squared if I knew that it was a vertical one, because then I would want this one to be the bigger value. So that is taking some information um, and trying to them giving you just enough information to draw yourself a picture to start to figure out some of the values and then turn that into an equation.